Improbability Theory, Part 1. <laughs> well, as the saying goes, marriage was never meant for the faint of heart. But 18 years is something important. Probably it's not a feed, but... Uh... No, no, there's something heroic in it. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the speech of an escape artist. <laughs> yes, that's right. I solemnly promise to improve, catch up, and surpass the quantity of legal marriages. No, no, Roddy, yeah. it's too late. You can't surpass us. Trust me, I'm a three-time prize winner of the wedlock movement. You're an old-timer, Svetha. Uh, okay. You're an old-timer. Eddie might think I saw Lennon alive, and we know what'll happen if that happens. Eddie, she didn't see. Don't tell me what to do, I know. Oh, no, 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 you're driving tonight. Here's Smetha and Arena. Come on. Here we go. You're such a harmonic couple. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I meant to say, a harmonious couple. Oh, Irina, Irina, Irina. You're, you're my unsung song. You're too drunk. Come on, stop. Just go to that corner I over there and sing I think you've had enough. It, okay? Roddy, we all remember the first year as if it was yesterday. Yes, of course. Let me tell you what happened. He starts dancing with Irina, started coming on to her, and then she said, no, what? I'm not going to do it with you. She said, oh, I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. I didn't drink. Oh. So you started coming on to her. Oh, remember this part. Remember you started this part. coming on oh, to her. This. So then after that, she says, oh, I'm going to run around you. I'm going to round you like a chicken. I didn't run around. You did. You did. No, what are you like talking a chicken, about? Like a little chick. What are you talking about? You're telling lies again. What are you saying? That's not true. Come on, come on. Oh, Tolia, Tolia, Tolia. Mom, Dad, congratulations. Wow, just look at that. Look how beautiful. That's me, and that's you. <laughs> All right, everybody, we have some new additions to the Opera Star family. <laughs> yes, this gifted young man will make a big one day. Believe me, everybody you know will work for him. Don't yes. let him. I'm ready. Oh, yes, 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 I forgot. I almost forgot something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What? What present? The present. Oh. Here you are. Yes. Okay. Irina, hold it. Okay. Well, since you haven't finished your novel, I am going to give you the book of the year. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I love yeah, it. I love you. <laughs> just look at your son. He is so handsome. I just uh, uh, calm down. Uh, no. uh, young man. By the way, if the dean hadn't come, then he would have been my son and no, not no, him. No. Yes, he would. He would. Enough. He would. That's no, he would. He would. Okay, stop. 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 Here's the deal, Irina. Here's the deal. Let me tell you something. I think you drew the winning ticket with Victor. Yeah. Yes. You're right about yes. that. I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> Your relationship is perfect. Now a kiss. Now a kiss. Now a kiss. Yes. All right, kiss. Yes. 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 I love you very much. Yeah. One, two, yeah. three. <laughs> hey, baby. What's going on? Why are you so quiet? <laughs> Did you think I'm your driver? No, but. We know who wears the pants in this relationship. The whole day, Eddie do this, Eddie don't that, Eddie don't drink. Everybody looked at me as if I was an escort. Oh, looked at you. Nobody looked at you except me, you hung. Well, I felt like a cow on the ice. Oh, of course. All my friends, by the way, are well-mannered, decent people. They loved you. Yes. And they're so happy that I found you. They want... But I found you instead, my darling, and it drives them mad, especially this hero of the anniversary. No. Yes, he was giving me the evil eye. No way, Victor. He's way out of my league. Come on, let's go, let's go, okay? That was a good night, right? <sighs> <laughs> Don't even say it. I couldn't eat another thing even if I tried. As usual, everything was yeah, the very best. Did you best. enjoy it? You are my little hostess. Mm. You're my magician. <laughs> I want to sleep. I'm dying oh, to sleep. Oh, Sveta. <laughs> Doesn't change at all. Again, she's doing whatever she wants. I brought the young man with her. Well, she can't live without young, fresh blood. It's a pity the Savayalovs couldn't come. So much food left. And all the alcohol? What's that? Everybody's behind the wheel. People don't want to drink. What can you do, you know? <laughs> Except for Roddick. Oh, that guy's still acting the same way. He's hilarious. He really is. Come here. Victor, I'm so happy. So am I, darling. That's all. Let's go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Come on. family mascot. The night came over the city like a dark veil. 
the sun went purple, the heat of the night love sparked. Penelope almost fainted from tenderness and begged her beloved for mercy. You can sleep. I'll just get Tolly off to school. Uh, I'm getting up. I have a meeting with the Chinese. Key negotiations. I can't be late. They will not wait. And besides, stop looking after that slacker. He's 17. He can do everything on his own. Victor, where do you get so much energy in the morning? Slacker, get your butt out of bed. Tolia, get up. Spring up, Junior. Mm, I went to bed at 4 a.m. School's not my thing. Get up, I tell you. Mom, I'm running late. Give me something to eat on the fly. Sit down and have a proper breakfast, you monkey. When was the last time you had a fork in your hand? Yesterday. Held a fork and wore a tie. That's all, Mom. See you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Sweetheart. Oh. Is something burning? Holy jeez, the omelet. What's going on this morning? <sighs> Victor, sit down and have a proper breakfast. I can. I'm running late. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. A new fashionable collection for China. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Let's go, Victor. Let it be a new trademark. Let Dior and Versace step aside. Well, it's Here. not for sure, of course, but there is a chance. The Chinese are the Chinese. I poured so much money into equipment. By the way, don't wait for me for dinner. I won't be here. I'm going, by. Oh, new okay. cologne? Somebody gave it to you yesterday or you had it? You smell nice. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's all for you. See you. Bye. Call me. Oh. Let's go. Salon. I've made an appointment, but I was late. What's going on? It happened. Could you come over? Erin, it's better if you come here. <laughs> come on, Irina. So he cheated on you. So what? So what? What can he get? Men are pigs. They don't like to change their ways. I wonder how it could be logistically possible. I'm always at home. Half an hour is enough. Half an hour? Is that too much? I'm serious. They did it one time or... Irina, what's the difference? One, two, three, don't twist the knife. Turn off your fantasy, turn on your mind. Victor is a cheapskate. Couldn't he get his own place? He brought her to your home. He's a horn dog. No, he's not a cheapskate, nor a horn dog. It means they have a serious relationship. Irina, if they had a serious relationship, this tchotchke would be beautiful diamonds. And this is a hokey pokey Swarovski. So she's just a fling. Don't worry about it. Just trust my experience. It's happened to me thousands of times. What difference does it make? Tell me, what should I do? Live. And most importantly, pretend that nothing has happened. Because if you confess, you'll have to make a decision. Are you ready to do that? What decision? Irina, be realistic. Get yourself together. Where is our battlefield? Right, the beauty salon, of course. And our secret weapon? Our intelligence and our mind. And also the decent behavior of a woman with an 18-year-old. Son? A co-ed. So let's go. Keep your nose up and ear to the ground. Can't handle it. Well, of course you can. First, we'll look at this Viper. She's likely to be one of his models. You say he has a meeting today? All right, let's see. 
So Eric will stay with you at the entrance. Entrance where? Irina, get it together! Spy on him? Yes. You agree? Well, of course I don't. What if you just disappear? And where? Well, somewhere. Somewhere to the islands where there are palms, sand, heat, mulattoes, coconuts. Mm -hmm. You'll come back so tanned, windblown, permeating the smell of... Mulattoes, really? Not mulattoes. Well, coconuts. Hush. Here they are. Please don't follow him too closely. I beg you, please. Don't He'll worry. He'll recognize Sveta's car. I got it, of course. I'm not a fool. Islands, you can make a tour of the Golden Ring. In January? Sure. Actually, sometimes business meetings are held at an um, informal setting. It's usual. If you want, I can go inside and take a look. No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down, Arena. Stop it. Nice and easy. Nothing has happened yet. At any rate, so far. Take me home. <laughs> Mom, close the door. Mom, close the door. Where are you going? Were you crying? Ah, uh, can you spend even one evening at home? Lately, all I see is the back of your head. Mom, some of my friends invited me to go to the theater. They're working with dolls there. Well, then it's okay. Then it makes a difference. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Penelope looked into his eyes. Richard, how could you do this to me? What have I ever done to you? The phone is switched off or is outside the coverage. Well, of course. The phone is of switched course off it is. or is outside the coverage. Seventy-six crimes have been registered in Moscow within the past 24 hours, 85 of which are solved shortly after the report. The search is on for the serial killer that has been hunting women throughout the year and remains in full progress. If only this maniac was here now, it would be a lot easier. Oh, that's terrible.
Hello. Hello, and all my friend. What's up? Eddie told me everything. We'll punch your victor in the nose. We'll show him who's boss and who's in control. You'll see. We'll give him the works. What will we give Sveta? How will I live with it? Without talking and biting your tongue. And most importantly, without hysterics. This is not the first time. And it won't be the last either. Mm. Oh, oh wait, I'll have to call you later. Mm. <laughs> Penelope ran on the steep seashore and saw a sailboat with trembling scarlet sails that was dashing towards her. Richard was standing at the bridge and, having seen her, folded his hands as a horn and loudly shouted, Hello, I'm home. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, darling. Hello. Oh, smells like medicine in here, doesn't it? No. Would you like to eat? No, thanks. I'm tired to death. I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm not hungry. Where's our son? It's midnight already. He went to the theater. He'll be back soon. So tell me, how did the meeting go? Oh, you're better off not asking. The Chinese are very specific. Sure, they invest heavily, but what they want in return is over and above. I also invested all I had in this project. I'm in the red here. I spent some big money. It's an investment, all the equipment. I remember you told me that in the morning. Fabrics, equipment. Well, we're moving up to the international <clears throat> level. I want to represent myself as good as possible. I understand, creating of a new brand, big hopes, you don't want to fail. Yeah. Did the Chinese like the collection? Yeah, Kokorina's a genius. She fights tooth and nail. Mm. Oh my god, Kokorina. Who is that? Remind me. Oh, well, she's our designer. I've told you oh. about her. Is she a skinny brunette? Well, actually, it's more like reddish brown. She has a regular body. But that doesn't matter. She's, she's good. Not mm. just good. She's a genius. She has a perfect sense of style. You're lucky. Hey, Dad. Hey, Rolling Stone. You know what time it is? When are you going to start studying? Tomorrow. Matilda, what are we having for dinner? What did you just call me? Who am I to you? What Matilda? Just a normal word. Matilda from the word mother. Mom, what is this? Spaghetti. With seafood. Hey, love, what took you so long? You okay? I don't feel good. Where were you all day long? I called you. I met up with Sveta. Uh, and her easy rider? What's the problem? You men can do that and we women can't? What do you mean? No, nothing. Where were you? I also called you. I was with the Chinese. Will you be late tomorrow, too? Well, sure. I'm having a meeting at 3, and then I'm going to show them the workshops, sample the fabrics, drawings. It's a lot. I don't know. If they don't like it, I don't even know what I'll do. With Kokorina again? Yeah, with her. Listen, remind me, which one is she? With such an unpleasant voice? She called once, as far as I remember when you left your phone at home. Why unpleasant? It's just a normal voice.
Irina. Huh? Irina. Uh. Hey, what's up? <sighs> Were you having nightmares? I had a dream last night. The three of us were in bed. Really? Me, Victor, and Kokarina. How did you feel? Oh, a real nightmare. Can you imagine what's going on in my head? What am I supposed to do? Nothing. Think of yourself. Be selfish. Seek your revenge. What do you mean? What I mean is... Cheat on him. Never. Hello there, miss. How can I help you today? Hello, sir. I need a room, please. A nice one. We have a deluxe suite with a courtyard view. It's quiet and green. It's January. A quiet yard covered in snow. $1,500. That will do. Are you planning on staying long here? No. Your identification, please. Can we forget the formalities? <clears throat> I'm waiting for a guest, a friend, an acquaintance. Everything is just fine. Second floor to the left, room number 23. Thank you. What am I doing here? How can I help you, sir? Hello. My uh, good friend made an appointment. Made an appointment to meet me here. Second floor to the left, number 23, sir. Mm. Thank you. Irina, what's going on? What's all this detective story for? Couldn't we meet at home? Radek, I'm sorry. I didn't want to frighten you. Frankly, I understand that it looks preposterous, this floor-length evening gown. Frankly, I haven't gone out for a hundred years. I understand how it you all looks. Look absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Has anything happened? Thank you. Yes, it has. Go on, tell me. Radek, you were in love with me since college. Has that all changed? It has. You chose another guy? You got married? Mm -hmm. Listen, can you explain to me what's going on here? <sighs> Did you and Victor have a fight? Not like that. Did he hurt you? Well, I could say yes. <laughs> Did he cheat on you? Erotic. Hmm. Well, then what? You know, everyone gave me this advice, and it seemed like it made sense at the time. And now I'm sitting here, and I'm realizing how silly it all is, and I don't know how I could even explain it all to you. I... <gasps> I understand. Irina. Irina, what are you up to? Irina, no. No, no, no. I Listen understand, I understand. You and Victor, you will work it out. It will be okay. Uh, You'll see. Irina, I'm going to get married soon. Roddick. Yeah, I didn't want to jinx it. It hasn't worked out well twice already. I know everything about you, my God. The first one was a 
A technician from the waste department. <laughs> My mom said she always smelled the blue vitriol. Terrible, really terrible. The next one was a librarian. Did she smell of books? Mom said she smelled like printing ink. <sighs> mm. And now, this one. This one is a doctor. I dread to imagine what your mom said, Roddick. <sighs> you know, my mom said yes. I love her. No, of course, not like I loved you. I haven't loved anyone like I loved you, honestly. God, you're such a nice person. Will you invite me to your wedding? Yes. Sure. It goes without saying. Definitely. Miss Svetlana, Irina is here to see you. Wow! What an outfit! So I'm thinking everything went to plan, huh? Relax, nothing happened. He said no, he didn't want you? <laughs> Is this man blind? Just look at yourself. You're a walking pheromone with aphrodisiac. He's getting married. Jackass. Well, you should organize a bachelor party for him. I've done this a thousand times. Are you crazy? Yeah, drop it, forget it. <sighs> I have someone else in reserve. Just in case Eddie leaves me. Wait a second, one moment. No, 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 I've had enough. Whatever you say, better for me. Oh, you can start working here. Right now? <laughs> As what? As an editor. An editor? Yes, an editor. You have really great taste. You've written well since our university years. Nobody knows when you'll finish your novel about this Penelope. And here you'll find the necessary connections. We always have book shows. And I need a really good editor. No way. Okay, forget it. Mm -hmm. Here's what I got next. Don't laugh. See a psychic. A psychic? Well, yes, a psychic, a witch. Her name is Garma Sharbunayeva. No, I'm not kidding. What? She's a third-generation mental healer. Garma? Yes. Is she a Chukchi? You're a Chukchi! She's a Buryat. Why are you laughing? Well, why are you laughing? The Buryats have very powerful traditions, you know? The Garma has a picture of her grandfather. I saw it, on which he's levitating. Really, I saw it with my own eyes. He's flying indeed. I mean, not high for sure, but still flying. And this Garma doesn't take anybody just off the street. She can change your life at once from black to white. So? And how did you meet her? Me? Well, do you, do you remember my Samuel? Ah. Uh. Well, through him. So, shall I call her? The Flying Buryats? <laughs> of course not. Good afternoon, Garma speaking. Hello, Svetlana Tatarinova gave me your phone number. The thing is that I... Hmm, don't you worry. There are no irreparable situations. I can arrange an appointment with you. One moment, I'll check. In two weeks, will that work? In two weeks? <gasps> Could we make it earlier? The thing is that I... Is it really that bad? It couldn't be worse. Well, okay. I'll try to shift somebody else's appointment. What is your... Irina Solovieva. Irina... All right, got it. Family problems. Okay, Irina. You may come tomorrow morning, around 10. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.
Hello, Garma speaking. Garma, listen to me carefully. You must stop practicing black magic immediately. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in big trouble. Do you understand? Mister, I don't know what you're talking about, but... I'm your well-wisher, Garma. I'm giving you a chance. You may need it in the future. So, my dear well-wisher, I'm sorry to inform you, but I don't have anything to do with black magic. You are mistaken. I know much more about you than you may think. I'm not going to repeat myself. Stop your shamanistic rituals or... Dear, the session is now over. <sighs> How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> I had enough sleep. <laughs> I feel like a different person now. Thank you very much, Garma. Do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Oh, hello. Could you tell me if Garma lives here? Why do you need her? We had an appointment for 10 today, and she's not here. What do I look like, a servant? I'd be tired if I started reporting every day from dawn till dusk, people coming and going, coming and going. Okay. Thank you. Coming and going. Yes, hello. Hello, is this Alia? Madam Alia. I'm sorry, Madam Alia? I need your help. I need to see you today. It's urgent. I can't make it today. I have too many appointments. Could you make an exception and see me? I'll pay double, please. Well then, you have to come now. Write down the address. This is where the body of Ms. Garma Nikolaevna was found, who was born in 1976. Did you write all that down? Yeah, you can take her away. Mm. Wait! <laughs> what did she die of? Wait a minute, who are you? Major Danilov, Central Investigation Department. So what did she die of? Asphyxia. Thin cord or something like that. Well, when did it happen? Well, yesterday evening she was still alive. From this moment forward, we're taking over this case. What is there to investigate here? A cold case, I guess. Well, that's your opinion. Tell me if the victim was wearing any jewelry, if she had any valuables with her. Here. Here we have this. Do you think anything is missing? I don't think so. Therefore, robbery was not the motive of the crime. In fact, in such a strange way. What are you trying to say? 
Uh, actually, the most interesting thing about Garma Sharbunayeva is that she's registered as a sole proprietor, rendering private services. Maybe psychic services? She has a ring with a pentacle. Here it is. Apparently, yes. Her business card reads, third generation faith healer. So what? It looks like this woman has become yet another victim of the serial maniac who kills only paranormalists. Fortune tellers and faith healers. One of his characteristics is a slipknot, yet a snowman is something new. All right. I understand. What day is it today? The, the 17th. 17th. Well then, that's it. Grief woman. Stop there. I know your misfortune. Come in. Here two beams come into one. In the center, I see your heart. Your heart is grieving for a person close to you. Well, yes. That's my husband. We've been together for many years, and now we're drifting away. Here's your husband. And here's another woman. Oh. What's that? Is that a skeleton? Does that mean death? Why death? It could be illness, some troubles. I don't know. Death of children. We have... A son, a boy, he's about to finish school this year. Uh-huh, one boy, a son, finishing school this year. Yes, I see, one boy, your son. That looks right. Hands on the ball. Now express your wish. I would like to... No, clearly and distinctly. I would like him to come back to me, and I want everything to be great. Now remove your hands. Well, in principle, that's a very logical wish, very typical to have the husband return to the family, especially since you have a boy, a son, finishing school. What? Are we eliminating her? If so, I need something that belongs to her. Oh, good. I do have something, but I don't know if that mm -hmm. will do. It's really small. Uh-huh. Let me have a An look. An earring. What do you mean by eliminate? Well, there are different methods. Oh, stop. No, no, I don't think we understand each other. You mustn't eliminate anybody. I just want him to come back home. Let her live. I wish her good health. Good. Fine. Okay, let her live. Let her live. Are you ready? Well, yes, in principle. I'm sorry. I'm doing this for uh, the first time in my I life. Know. I'm sorry. Give me sorry. your hand. Right or left? The left one, it's closer to your heart. Well, sounds logical. Magic moon, quarter bry, give me what I ask tonight. Magic moon, quarter bry, give me what I ask tonight. What's your name? Irina. 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 A little love is all I need. I can do the rest indeed. Who's your husband? Victor. Victor. The one I love, he needs a nudge into my arms where he can't budge, and there he will forever stay for all our remaining days. That's it. <sighs> You are going to make a potion, but you'll have to do it only after sunset. What are the ingredients? You're going to need half a cup of holy water, three pinches of salt, and you'll also need some good wine, dry red wine, half a gallon. Here, all in one, mix it clockwise only, and read aloud the following spell, create no zombies, make no trouble. Oh, I need to write that down. You don't need to write anything down, woman. Calm down, listen I won't here. remember it otherwise. The spell is here. Ah. Oh. 
That's okay. it, then pour it into a bottle, non-transparent, and give him 10 drops twice a day, nine days in a row. Did you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yes, here at the end, I just need help to solve this puzzle. Read it when you're making the potion. Oh. In the process, yes, I understand. Just a second. Now, the most important part. You go into a forest after midnight and bury this into the ground. Where? Under an aspen. Then you walk away and you don't look back. Don't cross eyes with anyone. Don't say a word to anyone either. Don't meet anyone or the spell will lose its power. That's it. That's it. Now, it won't have an immediate effect. It may take three nights or so. Then it will take effect, definitely, and then you must bring the money. How much? Well, I don't know. As much as your conscience will tell you. As much as you value your happiness. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, such a fool. Hello. Hello, Victor. Just so you know, I want to go to the country house today. I want to take some things there and also pick up jams and some pickles, you know? Fine. Okay? Okay, bye. Okay, perfect. <sighs> what are you doing? I am absolutely free all night. <sighs> How's it going, Irina? Hello, Stepanich. Hello, lady. Why are you so barren? Why so barren? How are Victor and Anatoly? When are they gonna come by and see me? Everything's fine. They're all in good health. That's for you. I don't think they'll come here soon. I rarely even see them myself. I don't think they'll be coming soon. Oh, thank you for the gift. You never forget about me. How's it going here? Thank you for asking, ma'am. Everything seems to be intact good. and in good condition as far as I can tell. Uh -huh. They shoveled the snow all day yesterday. All the paths were covered in snow. Today it's been snowing again. It's been really coming down. Good Should I idea. drive the car down to the garage? No, no. Otherwise it'll be covered in snow. No, no. Or shall I prepare a hot bath for you? No. You look kind of pale. Why not? <laughs> Maybe you got frostbite. Should I make some tea? Or, or something no, to eat? No, I have no, pickled thank cucumbers. You. I don't feel really well. mouth I'll lie down with a book, okay? Uh, I'll light the fire. Just to make it cozy. Just to make well, it cozy. Okay. Stay here, girl. The fireplace will do, uh -huh. okay. Victor, yeah. Why so late? Uh, yes, she's here. Uh, I don't really know. I think maybe she's asleep already. Yeah? Maybe she muted her phone to get some rest. She wasn't herself when she came. Uh-huh. Sure.
Irina, are you here? Irina! Irina, are you... Hello, Victor. It's me. I can tell you she's not here. What do you mean? Well, where is she then? Dad, Dad. Uh, wait, wait. I don't know. Maybe she went out to get some fresh air. I'll take a look. Lady, here. Come on. Sniff it. Here. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. God, lady. What a disaster. What happened? Are you doing all right? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you're shivering. My leg. Uh -huh. Did you twist your ankle? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Hold on to me. Uh, we'll get home uh, somehow. Uh, on three legs. Uh, careful. Get up. Uh, careful. Careful. Uh, careful, like that. Come on. Uh, ah. Good. Okay. Hello! Victor! Uh, I found her in the forest. Uh, she has some problems with her ankle. Yes, she's also running a fever, I guess. Um, shall I take her home? Okay, we'll be there soon. Uh, careful. Oh, Victor, you're finally here. I brought her here. Where? Safe and sound. You should take a good look at her. Irina. Be Irina. careful of her leg. Are you okay? Mom, what happened? Careful. Easy, easy. Mom, can you walk yourself? I don't here. know. Ow! Be careful, oh, be careful hold of her, her leg. Hold your mom. Oh. Careful, here. Her legs are frozen, that's it. She was shivering, I swear, I'm I found her shivering. in the snow. Here, okay. she's chilly. Oh. Irina, did you get scared of the dog? Or would you like maybe some hot tea? Know. Some tea, Or a yeah. hot bath, I can do that. Hot some bath. vodka, maybe. Some vodka. If you have sea salt, we'll put it in the water I, for the I bath. I want to sleep. Okay. She doesn't get pneumonia. Victor? Yes, Irina. Don't go away. Why did she go to the forest? Please don't. I beg of you, don't go. Irina, I'm here. I'm here. Don't. Please. Don't. No. Call the ambulance. What did the doctor say? The doctor said she has pneumonia, and also her leg. The good thing about it is that it's not fractured. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I need to go to the pharmacy. Where's that prescription? What was she doing in the forest at night? She said she wanted to take a walk. Some random nighttime walk? Yeah, she's been having problems sleeping lately. Why is that? Well, she's worrying about me. And you worry mm -hmm. about her. And I worry about her. That's nice. 
I hope someday somebody will worry about me as well. Olga. Listen. The two of us have been married for ages, and well, that means something. And now I met you, and as they say, the heart wants what it wants. Please don't confuse these things. Hey, I'm being serious. There's something wrong with her. She's never been like this before. She taunts me. She goes off all by herself. Or she's on the phone gossiping with her friends. She doesn't sleep. And when she does, she has nightmares. I think that maybe she knows about us. No way. You're a good cheater. You are. But I'm certain that she's not telling you the whole truth, Victor. And there's something else going on. Listen... Can we look at the drawings today? No, we won't look at them today. Don't forget to stop by the pharmacy. Hello. Madam Alia. Yes, who's speaking? The one who wishes you well. Listen to me very carefully. You must stop practicing black magic immediately. Otherwise, you'll get in trouble. Do you understand? Who is this? I don't understand. What do you want? I told you plain and simple. I'm a well-wisher. I'm giving you a chance. I'm sure you're going to need it in the future. You know what? Stay away, well-wisher. If you call me again, you'll talk to the police. Is that clear? Those whom God wishes to destroy, he first makes mad. Here, Grandpa. The world has become even cleaner. Sleep peacefully. Well, a year has passed. A year has passed since our granddad died, as if it was yesterday. In loving memory, my dear father. Vasya, could you please pour me yes, some more good. of that delicious wine? It's very good for my arteries. Granny, we're not drinking the health today. Here you go. We're commemorating my grandpa and your husband, Granny. Hush, hush, don't, Vasya, don't. That's just fate, and nothing can be done about it. Well, this fate has a name. Praskovia Elena, third generation psychic healer, that dirty scum. Oh, please don't argue on a day like today. Vasya, that was cancer. And cancer is cancer. She tried. She did everything she could. She tried to drain us dry, okay? All right, stop. That's enough. You know she didn't survive, our Grishinka, by very long. Her death was truly awful. Well, God rest her soul. Uh -huh. What? God enough. rest her soul? That's enough, Blast and curse her. Vasya. Uh, Vasya, please don't argue on a day like today. Enough. Enough. Let's not say anything. Okay? Uh-huh. Mom, no toast. Uh-huh. Um. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> what? Oh. <coughs> I forgot my drops. The drops? Mashinka, are you really trying to kill me or what? Is it so difficult to remember that I have to take my drops before every meal? Mashinka never forgot about it. Oh, my God. Vasya, don't get angry. Your grandma is old now. After all, you've changed a lot after your grandfather's death. You're an exact replica of him. And your grandfather was an angel. Remember him saying, self-control, patience, tact. Pass the drops to Granny. I'm much worse than him. And you know that perfectly well. <laughs> oh, that's his modesty speaking through you. Granny! Well, well, okay, okay. I told you we shouldn't argue on a day like today. Enough. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Mom, no toast. <laughs> Come on, Mom. No toast. Uh -huh. No toast. Uh -huh. 
Who is it? Are you expecting anyone? It's a postwoman bringing my pension. Mom, stay seated. I'll open the door. Mashinka, pour me some more of that delicious wine. Mom, not too much, okay? Uh, 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 okay, okay. And you must eat uh, something. Uh, 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 good. Good afternoon, Vasya. How are you doing? Come in. Lena, please uh -huh. come in, my dear. Join us. Uh -huh. Today we're celebrating a special uh -huh. yeah. day. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, what amazing eyes your son has. Yes. They're really something. <laughs> Vasya, uh, shall I give you some wine? Oh, 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 oh my Zina? working day's not over. Zina. Uh, well, anyway, this is good for health. Here, <laughs> Thank here. You. Oh, but anyway. Oh, your son is a very interesting man. Vasya. Vasya's wonderful. Vasya is unusual, a replica of his grandfather. Our grandfather was a great man. And Vasya? Vasya was born premature. Here's your pension. <laughs> he was so small, so tiny, a whisper. I thought I couldn't handle it. Imagine the Moscow Olympics, oh, 1980. Really? Moscow, summer, heat, dust and dirt. Well, Vasya's father goes on a business trip to Baikonur and he never mm. comes back. Oh. And I'm alone in Moscow. A girl, an interpreter, with a bump like this, really big. And suddenly, I get a call from someone asking if I can show Moscow to some friendly visitors from Africa. <laughs> of course, I agreed. What else could I do? The 1980 Olympic Games. I go and give a tour around the city, and while on my way back from helping the tourists, I trip on a big step and fall down, Zena, fall down on my face on my belly. And she knew ambulance, hospital, and in an hour, Vasya was born. Tiny, wrinkly, bluish, terrible. <laughs> what a wonderful boy he's become. Wonderful. Here's to Vasya. Uh, to Vasya. Vasya, good. God give him health, yes. God send him health. Vas. Vasya. <clears throat> we have another victim by the name of Garma Nikolaevna, paranormalist. She had the same strangulation marks on her neck as the previous victims. Again, all valuables were in place, and the murder was committed on the 17th, the same hand, Colonel. I already know his hand like the back of my hand. Ritualistic sacrifices, third generation witches, fortune teller, sorcerers. By the way, about sacrifices, Colonel, nomads, before they kill the weather, they... Hey, your weathers can wait, Stepanian. We're dealing with a serial killer here, a lot of loose ends. Eleven victims, and you... Most likely 12, Colonel. What are you trying to say? Who is she? Was she also murdered? And also a fortune teller? Not exactly a fortune teller, but a folk healer. Praskovia Ilya. She specialized in alternative medicines. Charms, herbs, prayers. They helped some and didn't help others. In other words, a common village whisperer. And what does she have to do with us? Why do you think she is one of our victims? Well, Colonel... We have two proven facts in respect to each of the victims. First of all, they were all healers or fortune tellers. And second, each of the victims was murdered on the 17th. Okay, you and Stepanian, being the smartest, must find something. Well, of course we have, Colonel. All right, on February 17th, Ilya was alone in her house in the village and allegedly stumbled and fell into the cellar. Nobody was there. 
Her assistant, Kira Landina, was away and she has an alibi. The police officer confirmed it. The local police did not consider it to be a murder, as the lock was not broken and no valuables were stolen. The local investigator concluded that Praskovia Ilya accidentally stumbled, fell into the cellar, and broke her neck. But Stepanian and I, we checked the facts again. As well as the medical report. And came to the conclusion that Ilya had her clavicle violently broken before she fell into the cellar on the day of the accident. And it wasn't robbery either. Why was she killed? And the others? Any version? Competition? What competition are you talking about, Colonel? They weren't selling tangerines on the market. You're too clever, I guess. Stepanian and I have one idea. Revenge. Why take revenge? On fortune tellers and witches, an unfortunate charm? Go on then, Stepanian. Thank you, Mr. German. May I, Colonel? Go on. My grandfather Varden once treated his gout at one very famous healer. This healer asked him for three dozen turkey eggs, a heap of sheep cheese, and a whole weather as payment. Well, a week after his treatment, my grandfather started suffering from gout again. What do you think he did? He went and took his gun, and he shot the famous healer. Well, okay, let's assume that Ilya died because of gout. Well, I mean, and the others? Listen, Colonel. Evidence shows that for a maniac, only one victim, the first one, is sacrificial. The others simply sublimation, and just like in a black hole, one victim after another. Like scratching an itch. Take a look at this, Ilya. I want you to examine the neighborhood, search among all her patients, and check out her relatives as well. Maybe in one case her treatment really ended in death. We are searching, Colonel. Hello, Victor. Where are you? I'm still at work, really busy. How are you, honey? How are you feeling? How's your leg? My leg... Okay, it's okay. And why are you talking in such a sad voice? It's okay. Where are you? Well, I'll come home in an hour. I'm at a meeting. Sorry, I can't talk. I have people in my office. Yeah? I'll pop by the pharmacy, okay? Bye. Kisses. I love you. Well, kiss me. That's it, Sveda. Your end has come. Eric. Is that for me? For you? Do you like it? Did you rob a jewelry store? What do you mean, robbed? I bought it. Nonsense. Um, I mean, I found a job. Nonsense again! Nonsense, nonsense. I found a job at an auto service company. Who, you? Yes! Auto service? Yes! But you come here and clean clothes. Do you think I changed desires there? I specialize in electronics. <laughs> you? Electronics? Yes, Stop really! Stop kidding! Did you kill somebody? And what is this? No, I didn't! Stop this! The car service owner, Aram Ashotic, took me on. Mm-hmm. So is this a proposal? Yes, it is. <laughs> Very funny. Funny as hell. <laughs> Have you gone bananas? <laughs> Are you crazy or what? Who are you up to? <laughs> I wanted to make it in a normal way. We could have had a simple ceremony. We could go to a restaurant, have some prawns. <laughs> I want to have a family, a marriage with you and you. <laughs> a traditional marriage. You've known that I will never. For a thousand years. At all. You bastard. Blackhead, you scoundrel, you scoundrel, you scoundrel. Congratulations. So when is the wedding? Oh, yes. You need to file for registration first, yes. What was I thinking? No, I'm fine. I'm making dinner. Yes, okay, Sveta. I'm really happy for you. Stay in touch, okay? Bye. Okay. 
<sighs> Half a cup of holy water. Half a gallon of dry wine. Dry. And now, salt, three pinches of salt. One, two, three. Mix it clockwise. That's okay. Okay, into my arms where he can't budge. And there he will forever stay for all of our remaining days. into my arms where he can't budge and there he will forever stay for all of our remaining days into my arms where he can't budge and sweetheart why'd you get up just wanted some wine wine uh-huh you in your condition together with antibiotics very wise of you uh To your health. Uh. Oh, this wine is really salty. How are you feeling? I, I'm fine. Hmm. Why are you home so early? I thought you'd come in an hour. I was able to finish early. Ah, uh, thank you so much for coming home early today. And tomorrow, as usual, deep into the night? What's wrong with you? Hmm? Nothing. Are you hungry? I made some salmon. It's in the fridge. It's really salmon. good. Salmon. Thank you. Mm. Salmon's great. Salmon, salmon. Oh, this looks beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, is it that bad? Really? Mm. Is it inedible? Mmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Gourmet. This is not a high-class restaurant here, you know? Honey, it's Please just... Please forgive me. I am sorry. I can't cook at all. It's just that your salmon is sugary. Are you making a fool of me? Am I unable to tell sugar from salt? What, have I gone crazy? So now you think I'm blind? By the way, my leg hurts. <laughs> Imagine the kind of woman you have. Do you want to know why I'm falling apart? Because I'm turning 40. What do you want from me? Mister, I'm sorry. I'm old already. It's okay. Maybe you need to see a doctor. A psychotherapist. Hmm? Sweetheart. Irina, what's so wrong about that? The whole world lives like that. And if anything happens, they immediately turn to a psychotherapist or psychoanalyst, and it helps. And you have insomnia, and also pneumonia. And a bad leg. Yeah, and that too, and so what? You're so nervous, so stressed. And I'm, I'm not made of stone, you know? I'm meeting with the Chinese, and you're just here stressed out all the time. Honestly, I don't feel like coming home. There. That's what I wanted to hear you say. Do you agree to go see a psychotherapist? Never. So you went to the forest for a walk. Why did you go alone at night to the forest? Are you sure you didn't have any other reason than a desire to go for a walk? I had a date with a forest spirit. I can't fly and my broomstick is under repair. <laughs> Irina, I truly believe that you are not only a sane person, but one with a sense mm -hmm. of humor. Mm -hmm. But I must stress that you should treat your nerves. Is there anything in your private life that's maybe prompting your condition? No. I'm doing okay. I have everything. Mm -hmm. I'm well provided for, a clever son, a beloved husband. Can you imagine? I have everything and I don't want it. This is your typical story, right? It's not unusual. 
you have mood swings. Oh. And I can see signs of depression, and that's not good. Mm. I want you to take these pills to start. If the depression and anxiety don't go away, mm. give me a call. Mm -hmm. Well, these are the normal reactions of the body. It looks like an early menopause. I'm afraid that she thinks I'm having an affair. And would she be wrong? Ugh. It's here. Did you find her here? Yes, here. She must have stumbled and... What would she need to hide there? Well, she... she had her own stock here. Mushrooms, berries, and fruit. She ate only vegetables. Healthy diet. I wouldn't be able to live like that. Pavlovna was very energetic. She... she ran ten miles every day in the winter and summer alike. She showered with cold water. Even at 76. She recommended this treatment to others. And of course, you know, spells and herbs. Did her healing help many? Most of her patients. The lame, people with heart problems, even with cancer. So you're saying most of them, but not everyone? Well, unfortunately, Pavlovna was not omnipotent. Only God knows better. Um, do you think maybe you could name all the patients who died? I mean, those who didn't recover. Their relatives, I mean. I understand. We didn't register addresses or last names. I... I know some first names only. Pavlovna was always eager to help. Kira, maybe you remember someone in particular. Maybe some difficult case. A case that ended in death? About a year ago? I don't remember. Kira. Kira. Kira, please wait. Well, you were Antonina's assistant for a long time. Her name is Prescovia. Yes, Prescovia, I'm sorry. You helped her during sessions. You edited her notes. In the end, you lived in her house for many years. Don't you really want to help us find her murderer? A murderer? Was she murdered? I thought it was an accident. I don't remember. Stepanian. Okay then. What we're gonna do here is hold you accountable as a witness with all the resulting consequences. Here's your summons. Sign here. Sign it. We'll be waiting for you in the police station and try to remember the names of the patients as well as the details of your hectic illegal activity. Well, when? Wait, wait, or it won't be a surprise. I'll open my eyes. Wait, here, stay here, like that. Cover your eyes. Turn, Where? turn, turn, turn. Where? Okay, turn. Okay, okay. Oh. Open your eyes. Shada! Do you like it? Do you like it? Great. Did you use my apartment as collateral? Sweater again? Don't you like it? I do, but how could you... I took out a loan. Got into debt, so to speak. Just for you, Sveta. That's for you. The car is all yours. Get in. Oh my goodness. Somebody please wake me up. Zveta, you should be happy. What's wrong? I'm happy. You know I never, never for a thousand, thousand years. Listen, you sorcerer. Will the carriage turn into a pumpkin when the clock strikes 12? <laughs> no. Shall we go and celebrate it? Let's go. Start it. Just don't say a word. <laughs> Jewelry. I love uh, it. I chose this especially for you. Where's you the diamond? Well, wait one thing at a time. First your neckline, which drives me mad. Mm. Mm, Victor, don't you think our break is getting too long? Shall we look at the drawings? Drawings. Yeah. We need to work. Good. <clears throat> okay. All right. We'll go to work. We'll do some work here.
Okay, so... Maybe I don't know anything about this, but... I think that it's a bomb. <laughs> a bomb that will totally blow the Chinese away. Have you shown these drawings? Sent them in or... Mm -hmm. Well, why should we worry then? We can go to Shanghai and sign the contract. Mm -hmm. By the way, we must drink to that. Here. My girl, you're a genius. A genius. Mm. Okay, mm. just choose the fabrics, have them sewn, and, and in about two months, we'll celebrate mm, mm. our triumph in the Celestial Empire. Here's to you. To us. No, to you. Mm. Mm. Have you received mm. the official invitation? When are we leaving? Well, you know what I think? Mm. I think that China is not for you. It's being too modest. We're thinking too small. I'm being serious. With drawings like these, we could set our sights on much bigger fish, <laughs> like London. What do you think? To dress the British Queen? Why not? Why not, though? Well, it's an Oriental collection. So what? You didn't answer me. Did you get a fax? When are we leaving? I got the fax, but there's one tiny problem. This time I'll have to take my wife with me. That's the client's wish. For some reason, they're dying to see my wife, to meet her. Some rubbish like that. Hold on, I don't understand. The Chinese are getting a new line. Why do they care who comes with you? I don't understand it myself. Does your wife want to meet your client? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, fine. All three of us are going to China. It's my collection. Yes, of course it's yours. Mm -hmm. But the three of us, how do you see it? How? Picture us in China. You yeah. and me? There are major uh -huh. sparks between us, explosive yes. ones. We'll go off and she'll immediately mm -hmm. figure out everything about us. And we don't need that. You know what? Yeah? Just get out of here. Where? Home, Victor. Go home. Olga, I understand you're upset. Listen, why don't we try to make this work? I'll come back from Shanghai and we'll immediately go to the Maldives, the two of us, for as long as you like. I'm waiting for another proposal, Victor. I'm not going to consider other proposals because I love you. Nothing else matters. But honey, I love you too, and you know that. Love means taking action. Yes. And I've already been to the Maldives before in the same capacity. Don't freak out. I'll bring you my resignation letter tomorrow. Olga. Everything is fine. It's not blackmail. Oh. It's just a way to take care of myself. Olga, why are you doing this? Well, dear Victor, do it without me. smiled sadly and remembered with great lucidity her serene barefooted childhood. Her father, a village preacher, was a charming faddish widower. She never got to meet her mother as she died when Penelope was still a small child. Poor Penelope. I'm home. <coughs> oh, Victor, what's up? Just problems at work. With the Chinese? With the Chinese. Listen, could you please make me some tea? Just a second. into my arms where he can't budge, and there he will forever stay for our remaining days. Sweetheart. Mm. Oh? I don't feel well. Maybe you should go to bed? Yeah, sure. Is it over?
You know, sweetheart. <sighs> Why don't you make me some fried potatoes? Deep fried. Like they make at the restaurant. Sveta, can you hear me? It worked. I think it worked. Penelope and Richard kissed passionately. Never before had they been so happy. Mmm, this is just fantastic. I never tasted anything like oh, this. Oh, thank you, honey. Ask me the sour cream. Mm. Do they have pancakes in China? Listen, son, in China they have absolutely everything. The Chinese cuisine's the best. Uh-huh, but the fight takes ten hours, a nightmare. Honey, are you afraid? Don't be. Tolia and I will hold your hand. And you'll immediately forget about your fears, right, son? Yes. Do you know what dolls they have in China? They appeared in the 8th century in the Edda era. They were made of flowers, porcelain, and in some cases, even ivory. They were made to protect the families from evil spirits. Well, in this case, we won't need them anymore, right, Dad? Nope. You better think of the unified exam. Mm-hmm. That test is not a simple thing. Well, as soon as I come back from China, I'll find out everything. Okay, yeah. Speaking. About what letter? I do not allow my collection to be used in entering into third-party agreements. I don't get it. Is she terminating the contract? Is she allowed to do that? No, she can't because the contract wasn't signed. Oh, okay, that's good. No, wait, stop. What do you mean it wasn't signed? How was it not signed? Mr. Victor, I brought the contract for you to sign twice, and you sent me away twice. You said tomorrow, later, next time, another day, and so on. Me. I said that. Tomorrow, maybe next time? How could I have said that? Apparently, you were very busy and had no time for that. All in all, I decided... You decided! You decided! You're not here to decide! You were here to bring me the contract so that I could sign it! Remind me! Insist! That's what you're here to do! What a catastrophe. Do you know how much money I invested into this contract? Do you know that I'm leaving for Shanghai to meet with the partners? I'm pretty sure they're gonna ask where their collection is. What am I supposed to tell them? What am I supposed to say, that I failed to sign a contract with the designer? You know what? You do whatever it is you need to do to get us out of this situation. I got it. Tomorrow morning, a complete list of my ideas will be on your desk. No, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. At most, yesterday. Better yet, right now. Right here. You understand? To tell you the truth, at first, I wasn't sure about what I, I was know, doing. I know, I know. Then, there were no results for the first week, and I thought I was doing something wrong. But then... Yes, then it was like a fairy tale, has sown wild oats and... You're completely right. It was like a fairy tale. He forgot about his business meetings. After work, he comes straight home, right on time. It's truly amazing. No, there's nothing amazing about it. I knew it would be like that. Of course, and now, my dear, you must strengthen your positions. How? You must do some magic on yourself. Well, I've already, you know... Yes, I see, I see, that's good. But you know what men are like. They need to see tantalizing visuals in front of them. You're now a tender blonde and you should become... a spicy brunette. In short, remember that. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, you do. I've brought $2,000, will that be enough? Take it. Put it here. Well, my dear, if something happens, call me. And I... I'll help you. Thank you. 
think, Fedya, think. We need to solve this problem. It's no use going to court as she didn't even sign the contract, right? Court proceedings take from three months to one year. Even more so. In such situations, we need to make a deal. Oh, make a deal? Oh, you're a genius! Make a deal! What kind? We need to strike an amicable deal. Offer her money. That always works. <sighs> Especially since the collection hasn't been finished. She'll finish it herself, and then you won't have to hire anybody else. Money, 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 money! Do you have any idea how much I've already given her? Like nobody else. I know. Oh yeah, of course you know that. No, no, I don't have any money. I don't have any disposable money. I still have an unpaid loan at the bank that's hanging over me. I still can't pay it off. In this case, let's use the traditional scheme of offering her a sales fee. That's your way out. Mr. Victor, you've ran out of time. I need you to make a decision and let me know right now. Don't put this kind of pressure on me. Don't do it. Oh, Olga, 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 Olga. <laughs> Hello, Olga. Olga, please pick up the phone. Please answer the phone. Olga, I can't be talking to an answering machine. I need you to pick up. I need to talk to you about very serious business which concerns both you and me. Please pick up. There is nobody home. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, I need to go to bed and get some rest. Tomorrow's gonna be tough. I need to get some rest, I'm sorry. 